Hey guys, Rick Queen here with another Lego Ideas project to share with you guys. This one is Coraline's Pink Palace Apartments. I think this is a really, really good design. And uh, the Coraline movie was mm, unique to say the least. Um, and I know not everyone probably knows what Coraline is. So I pulled up a picture. Um, it's kind of from the movie. I'm not sure if this was the actual like movie poster or just kind of like a promotional image that they used. But this is what uh, it's based off of. You can see the house um, or the, the pink palace apartments in the background and also her black cat. Um, and uh, if you haven't seen the movie, I recommend it. It's, it's different, different, I will say that. Um, so let's take a look at uh, some of these pictures here. Um, so this is a really nice design for the house itself. I, I think uh, the person that designed this did a really good job. Um, I also really like the figures. Uh, I think they're really well made. Um, they definitely do resemble uh, the characters for sure. Um, and they have several pictures on here that are just kind of um, different angles of the house. And one thing that I thought was uh, really interesting but a really good idea if you look up at the top of the roof um, you'll see it looks like um, up on the top right uh, there is a white snake there which I'm guessing that is supposed to be like maybe smoke coming out of a chimney um, that's what it kind of resembles to me I think that was a, a really um, unique idea to do that I haven't seen anyone do that before Somebody else may have, but I haven't personally seen that before. Um, and there's just another angle of the house. Um, but what's cool, uh, let's get to it. Here's the other side of it, uh, kind of the back side of the house, um, which opens up. Um, it kind of folds out, it appears to anyway. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like it's kind of a modular that folds apart. Um, well, not really a modular. It doesn't necessarily connect to anything, uh, but it folds apart so you can kind of um, have different play areas, sort of. Um, and I think it's just overall really, really well designed. And here's uh, the characters that you get with it. Um, and I don't remember all their names, honestly, because it's been a long time since I saw the movie. Um, but they are really, really cool looking. Um, I think they did a really good job on the doll version of Coraline. I think that's really cute. Um, I'm not sure if her ears stuck out through her hair or not. Like I said, it's been a while, I don't remember, um, but it looks cool to me. And uh, if we take a look, um, there is a link in the description if you wanna read um, all of the, the, there's a link in my description to the ideas page. So you can read all of this and uh, click this blue support button up here um, to actually vote for uh, this to potentially become a real set one day. Um, as you can see, it already has 4,354 supporters at the moment. So it's almost halfway there, which is really cool. Um, I think eventually this one will definitely hit 10,000 and make it into the review stage. Um, I, at least I think so. Uh, and let's see. So here's some updates. Um, they added apartment mailboxes. Very cool. Um, I do like that. It's got the apartment A, B, and C there. And oh, they added a sticker for the flag. The flag was already there, but it was just a plain red flag. So it's nice that they they added that on there. And let's see. Oh, they added the creepy painting. Yay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, but cool at the same time, I guess. I don't know. Um, it, anytime they can add little details like that, just, you know, kind of make some special little touches. Um, you know, here's here's the different pieces that they added uh, in the update. I think it's really cool. And there's outlines and um, <laughs> there's where they were working on it. Uh, I like seeing the process. So that's really um, interesting to me uh, to see all of these. Um, and lots of lots of buttons. <laughs> 
Perfectly imperfect Lego buttons. Wonderful. Um, let's see. Some sketches. Wow. The, the person that designed this, I think, really put a lot of time and effort into the design. Um, and I always like to see that uh, when, you know, you can really see how much work they're putting into it. And I think, I, I guess this behind it is... Okay, let's see. Some images of the Lego house next to the original set from Coraline. Okay, so that's that's the set that they used. Very cool. Um, so you can definitely see the resemblance between the two uh, designs. Um, it looks like, it kind of looks to me like uh, the gray roof might, should maybe have been brown possibly, but it might just be the, the lighting in this picture. Uh, I'm not sure on that. Um, in the movie, I thought it was more gray, but like I said, it's probably the lighting that makes the, the roof on that one look a little different. But uh, let's see. Um, power functions. Oh, they added like a spinning piano if you wanted to do that. And there's the work in progress right there. Um, I, I love that. I'm wondering, I don't know if it says somewhere in here, um, but I'm wondering how much time they spent designing this. Um, just like the baseline project before they started um, doing like all the additions, like the spinning piano and the different signs that they added. Um, and there's a really nice picture uh, right next to a lot of the modulars. So it's like roughly the same size. That's a really good nice size comparison so you really know about how big it is. Uh, I think it's awesome. It's a really, really good design. Oh, let's see. How many bricks does it take? The finished house weighs in at just under the 3,000 part limit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. First, we must do a little inventory check. I love all of these pictures like this, so they can see what they have, what they need. They even have a little Coraline mug there. That's cool. Um, just really awesome. <laughs> uh, even with some, some pictures with some lights on in the house. That would be really cool if they could uh, include that. Um, maybe a light brick uh, function somewhere in it would be cool. I don't know. Um, I've always thought it would be nice on like house designs like this to have little front porch lights, um, but not necessarily like a light brick function, more of like lights that you could just turn on and leave on. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, um, a little light brick underneath there. There are so many awesome pictures on this. And there's the, the piano that she added uh, the, the spinning functions to. And there, it's got the painting in that picture. So, I don't know. Th th I just think this is really cool. Um, there's a lot of uh, different stuff to check out here. Let's see, we've got the first floor picture from the top down. And then there's a, a top-down uh, view of the second floor, complete with bedroom and bathroom and another bedroom and looks like a, a bathtub in the bathroom. Uh, just really awesome. So um, I know this is a lot of information on here, uh, but I would encourage you to click the link in the description to go check it out for yourself and support it. Um, I think it's really cool. It's getting close to the halfway point. Um, which is going to be awesome. I know it's already had three official Lego comments. Um, oh, I didn't even know that. So a lot of you may already know about this because July 31st, uh, this project was chosen as a staff pick. Um, so very cool. Um, a lot of you may have already seen it then. Um, since it was a staff pick, they kind of uh, highlight those staff picks. So that's really awesome. Um, and then there's, you know, the, the other two, uh, when you hit a hundred supporters, you get a comment and then a thousand supporters, you get a comment. So let's see, when was this first?
first posted. Um, let's see. I don't know if it has the original post date anywhere. If so, I'm not sure where to look for it. Um, I don't know. But I do know that this person hit 100 supporters on March 22nd, 2018. So it looks like this has all been up this year, basically. Um, but uh, I think it's a really cool project. I highly recommend checking it out and clicking that blue support button if you like it. Uh, don't forget the link to this page is in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Before you go, don't forget to click my picture to subscribe to the channel. And if you already subscribed, you can click the thumbnail to check out more of my videos.